Hi YouTube. I hope you're all doing well. I am doing okay. I um, just made a video. I pressed record, but it didn't record. So here I go again. <laughs> but that's okay. Um, I was uh, watching the weather this morning. <clears throat> and then a segment of the news came on and there's a group of uh, polygamists in Minneapolis that want to uh, um, have several partners within their marriage. So my question is with these people that want to go outside God's traditional marriage between a man and a woman, why do you have to call it marriage? Why don't you call it a union? You know, everything else is united in these states. Unify yourself like that, you know, legally so you can have your your uh, benefits that you get when you do your taxes or whatever. Fine. But why do you have to use the word of God to promote your ungodliness? Because I'm not one of these believers of uh, the twisted scriptures that state like this man had so many wives and so many slaves although people in our society today do still do those types of things that is not um, proper scripture from God and I can probably prove it with words the language and I'm sure that other scholars will help in this area because things are getting pretty serious everybody wants to go into the golden temple of God bringing various partners of perversion in there with them and that's just not going to happen you know like a woman was so old she couldn't give birth and she gave her handmaiden to her husband. I call bullshit on that. Or this man had two wives and so many slaves. They were all slaves. No wife shares her husband. No husband shares his wife. And if you think that that's a, that's a cool thing, if you're a man, then you would be okay with your wife having several husbands. And just think on, let, let it ruminate for a minute. Just let it ruminate there. You know? Or vice versa. Doesn't, uh, doesn't correlate with the, with the holiness of God's sanctus, sanctity of marriage at all it it goes against um it's just like wars there's a lot of people that believe that the bible was written by if it were like gog and magog one good one bad or in little or inky you know or um two separate men you know, and, and here's the thing, you know, okay, so God created Adam and Eve, and he created the angels, and they said angels didn't have a sex, but yet they were able to come down among women and rape those women and create the giant. Something screwy is going on. See what I'm saying? If God made one and then made another, he could make several. It's like people think that they were um, walking around naked the whole time. He made everything. You think he didn't make a baby and wrap that baby in a blanket? Or just what? Left it naked and didn't feed it the whole time till it miraculously grew? I mean, they say Adam was um, born a man. Maybe in his mind, but physically, I'm calling bullshit on that, too. I'm thinking of things logically, you know.
There is a golden temple, a sanctity of marriage, um, that you get one try to go in, not several, not with the same sex. It's you and your beloved before God in that unity. And he blesses it with purity. And that's how that goes. And these people that want to bring several partners into uh, the unity of marriage, why call it marriage? That's my, that's my only, only beef with all this. If you want to dress like a woman, why call yourself a woman though? See what I'm saying? That's, that's the part that doesn't make sense to me. It just doesn't. There is no sense to it besides demeaning women. And that's sexist, and I feel offended. And I'm offended for my granddaughters, too, ahead of time for them. I don't care if it doesn't bother you. It bothers me. All this shit bothers me. And yes, I want to fill my life with friends that think on the same level that I do. Um, if I ever find one, maybe I will. Maybe I won't. But believing in God's spoken word and deciphering right from wrong within my own soul I'm screaming separate societies. Let these Luciferians go. Let them go. Do what they want to do somewhere on the planet. Make your own civilization and get off the backs of the ones that founded God and country and faith and family. I, I'm not, you know, I'm not getting down on anybody about anything they want to do. I'm just asking why do you have to intertwine your deviant, perverse ways into scripture to make yourself seem like something you're not. If you want to be what you want to be, fine. But why do you have to pretend to be me when you don't even like me? You know? That's my question. And I'm really worried for the little critters up and coming in this world, the little girls that will not feel safe. Who's going to, I mean... The woman was put here to nurture the man so he could, um, you know, to strengthen him so he could make her feel safe. I don't know about you, but there's not too many men out in this world that I feel too safe with. How about you men? Are you feeling very safe with these women? Are they really uh, displaying uh, family values that pull you in with loving kindness and godly ways? Or what are they doing? What are they doing? You know, and why? And to who are they doing it, really? All these questions, huh? I'm going to roll a cigarette while I talk to you. <laughs> it is sad, you know. Um, there's really no reason for it when they could make laws that suit their lifestyle and leave the Christian religion alone. 
so we can live how it suits our lifestyle. You know? But Satan does not own this world, and for him to uh, have his perverts get up and perform satanic rituals right in front of everybody in mass, including the children on this planet watching it, things have gone too far. It's, it's not something that I'm going to turn the other way and look away from it and say, uh, do whatever you want. No, this is not your planet, and you are not going to do whatever you want. You'll soon come to realize what I'm saying is true, because it has gotten to the point where crazy is um, a lifestyle for some people. You know, if if you're bisexual. Do you have to act feminine? If you're a man and you're bisexual, do you have to act feminine to sleep with another man? I, I don't get it. You know, why the mixture? You know, or women. If you're bisexual, do you have to act like a man? in order to sleep with that other woman? Or, I mean, I'm not saying all of you do because I know better. Um, you know, I've been out in this world and had people that I cared about and in life, but I would tell them the same thing. It's not that I wouldn't. Or even ask them questions, you know? And I have found, personally, a lot of times, there's a couple different reasons why people will turn to the same sex. This is my opinion now. I'm not saying this is the way it is with anybody or for you or whoever you are. <clears throat> I'm just giving my point of view here from people that I've, I've known that you've either been hurt by the other sex or groomed when you were little, or you were loving the one you were with and you couldn't control yourself and that started a snowball effect. And the, and the you know, I guess I gave you three three choices there, but this is this is my observation on the things that are going on. You know. But trust me, <laughs> um, personally, if I were gay, I wouldn't need to act like a man to justify who I say I am. I would not need to use God's word to sanctify an unholy union in, in my religion. That's what it is. I'm not saying God doesn't love you. I'm just saying the sanctity of marriage between a man and a woman is a holy union in my religion. My connection with my Savior is what my heart says. If your heart says something else, that's okay. I can only go on my viewpoint, and I'm not out hating anybody. I'm protecting the other people that think like I do with my words. And um, if you feel so strongly about that, too, then you can do the very same thing. I'm just doing me. That's all I can do. And hopefully I'll have friends with my same moral standards. My values, that's who I'm looking for. Friends that share the same value as I do.
So, do you know anybody that uh, really talks about a golden temple of marriage? Not that I know that it's possible on this planet, I'm not sure, but I do know that's what it's supposed to be. I could say, well, I have some pretty good memories. But memories don't really mean much in a world that all of that is just being thrown away. What good is uh, celebrating a man and a woman on their very special day when the whole world doesn't care? And once again, I'm just given my point of view and, you know, how I feel about it for myself personally and other people that feel that way too. I'm not um, disrespecting anybody's choices for your own personal choices in your life. No, I'm not. And I'd still be a very good friend to you, the most loyal friend you'll ever have. No matter who you are, unless you're involving the children and then all bets are off the table. In fact, you are my direct enemy. If you're hurting kids or you're mindlessly saying things that can affect children and their future, you're becoming my enemy. And why would you want to do that if you profess God? I, I'm just asking questions. I don't know what's going on in another human's mind. Aside from I do know, like one man in particular, or I'll just say like maybe a couple, are going for the gold at the end of the end of the game. Say if there was two man, men and one woman, well, that, that men are going to try and screw up every other man's opportunity of getting that gold cup at the end of the um, ordeal and by that they both lose that's what's going on on this planet with men and women we're not pulling each other up so we each can say hey we all earned this cup we all have the right to be in this temple it seems like people are making it so nobody can go into that temple and they think they'll enter it because they have some kind of secret knowledge or something that somebody else doesn't have. That's the way I look at it. I really do. But all these preachers out there I've got a secret, watch me, listen to what I've got to say, and you're going to learn something you don't know. I don't buy that for one bit. If they told you, use your logic and your intuition and stop looking out in the universe and get in touch with planet Earth that God gave you to procreate on, and take care of the animals and your brothers and sisters on this planet. If that were true in people's hearts, that's just what they'd be doing for the little people that are coming up in this world right now. I'm telling you, families are in danger. They want you living in a city looking like one sex and all fornicating like Sodom and Gomorrah. And I know that you're, you're like, oh, come on, woman, you're just like really going off the rails here. No, I'm telling you what's being done right before your eyes, what's being done to the little kids right before their eyes. pretty sad. I hope no no kids I know 
we're sitting and watching those Grammy Awards. God forbid, for real. You know. There's just no reason for it. Yeah, dress up like Satan. Okay, guy, you're not a woman just because you call yourself one. But why pretend to be a woman while you're doing it? Satan's going to kill you for it. Oh, yeah, he will. He hates you. God doesn't hate you. Satan does hate you. He's using you. These people sign their lives away to be used for comforts of this world right now. And the ones that are in between, like you're sort of not good and you're sort of not bad, you're the worst of all. If you had been groomed when you were little and, and bad things happened and you really couldn't help yourself, and pull your 